Hi, I'm Glenn Robinson, president of Palma Concrete Incorporated. We have recently made videos of our reserve forming and sealing system for routine bridge joint repairs and secondly for large repair joints. This system features forming, repairing, and sealing any bridge joint in a few simple steps in a few hours and only one lane closure. These two videos use Reserve 2 general purpose polymer concrete. Reserve 2 and Reserve LR are polyester based systems for year round repairs and return to service in a few hours. For the video you're about to watch, where repairs are in the very wet conditions and vertical and overhead repairs are often necessary. Resurf VO21 is demonstrated. VO21 is for vertical and overhead repairs in very wet conditions, including underwater. A very user-friendly tool that I've found over the years for cleaning debris out of any kind of joint is a bush axe or a bush hook. Also, to dig debris out of a joint, a um, flat blade screwdriver is an excellent tool. This video will demonstrate our reserve forming and sealing system installed with our reserve VO21 epoxy putty system. That's for wet environments and vertical and overhead. Here you see a simulated uh, box culvert where the joint is wet and full of debris. Our Reserve VO21 is packaged in five gallon pails. Uh, the A side is white. The B side is black, and you see the direction label on the back of the containers. Here we want to simulate real world conditions, and really the worst case scenario is where you've got a box culvert or any kind of culvert where water is either leaking up through the joint or into the joint where you're losing fill underground. Since underwater, um, the creek bed below, water is kind of hard to get, but washing out with a five gallon pail of water, once you've broken loose all the debris in the joint, is very effective. As I said earlier, we're simulating very wet conditions, and we're also simulating uh, vertical joints and Overhead joints are done in exactly the same fashion. Here, after we do the, the horizontal joint and also the vertical joint, uh, we're also going to patch a small pothole or leak in the concrete culvert. Don dishwashing liquid is an excellent thing to clean muck and any grease and algae help remove it. Also, it acts as a surfactant, so it's not really necessary to remove the soap. Although here we've got so much water running over the slab, most of the soap has been washed away. But it actually, actually is a good bonding agent for the epoxy to wet into the, <coughs> the wet concrete. As I said earlier, Resurf VO21 is a two-component system 
in a two to one system where there's two parts hardener, excuse me, two parts epoxy, yep. which is white, to one part hardener, which is black. What we like to do is put a pile roughly one third of what you expect to use in the middle of the hardener and then a pile equal size on each side of the epoxy which is white and then mix it, knead it back and forth several minutes and this is a rather large batch until it's an even grade where there's no white spots or striations and no black spots or striations. Once you got an even grade, you're ready to go to work. Mixing would have been somewhat easier in that this is somewhat a thixotropic system if it had been done on a heavier piece of maybe three-quarter inch plywood or if you had an area where the dry slab uh, could be mixed on um, and you scrape it clean when you're finished. You can see where a very even gray happens in just a few minutes. This is a three inch wide by half inch thick piece of our reserve joint forming and sealing system. The bottom two inches on it is foam polyethylene, which has been sawed on each side with a band saw to open up the, the bubbles in it so that you get a mechanical bond. The top of it is neoprene rubber. It's also closed cell foam, but it also has been sawed on both sides. Here it never hurts once you're starting to use a paintbrush is a, what we still call a priming step here to emulsify and scrub through the water. We deliberately simulated uh, worst case conditions here. Um, you could have very easily have taken a little sand dam and dammed it up and made the conditions a little bit less difficult and a little bit less messy. Here we're coating both sides of the research joint forming and signal material with the Thixotropic Research VO21 putty. We think this is a very practical approach to repairing box culverts and really any type of culvert, whether it's concrete or, or steel or galvanized culverts, where there's been movement and a joint is opened up. This will tolerate a lot more movement than any other conventional way of repairing the joint. This maintains the integrity of the expansion and contraction joint. Here we're demonstrating a vertical joint with the bottom block there is going to be sealed with a resurf um, forming and sealing system with a neoprene still on top. But we're also about to do the top part where we've actually cut the polyethylene foam off the bottom or the neoprene foam off the top. Underground and uh, places where there's no exposure to UV light, the UV blocking capabilities of the neoprene foam is not really, it's blocked with carbon black 
it's not really necessary. So any scrap pieces, cut off pieces of this system can always find a use at some later time. Any joints that are moving a great deal due to settling or some sort of subsidence can benefit from the neoprene uh, being left on, on the top. It's got over 200% tensile elongation, so it will take a great deal of additional movement due to shifting of the culverts and opening of the joints. Here we're demonstrating where a piece of the polyethylene foam only is being used. We're going to offer this product in virtually any width and virtually any thickness from 3 inches to 9 inches wide and from 3 eighths of an inch to around 3 inches thick. So quite often a piece will need to be trimmed but the polyethylene can be used for shims and plugs and very similar to back rod. Anytime it is trimmed off, it should just be put away and saved. To finish off the utility of Resurf VO21, we're simulating the, a vertical overhead hole in a culvert. As I said, uh, probably a concrete culvert, but a galvanized culvert, you can do the same thing. But in this particular case, we could have made a plug out of some of the scrap polyethylene that's left over from various thicknesses and glued it in. Here we chose just to fill the simulated uh, spall or hole in the culvert uh, with uh, the thixotropic putty. One key thing here you always need to do is press it in and shove it in to the concrete. This pushes the water out and it makes the hole in place much more effectively than just basically smearing it on. Just in case anybody's wondering, that's a crepe myrtle leaf in my hair. We named this product Resurf Joint Forming and Sealing System. Used in conjunction with Resurf 2, Resurf LR, or here, Resurf VO21, it can address almost any joint repair or sealing need in a very user-friendly, cost-effective, and very productive manner. The last few photos demonstrate meandering, random, crack sealing capability where fill is being lost. After cleaning, washing, and scrub priming as before, the crack is filled to refusal with Resurf VO21 putty. To accommodate a significant amount of later movement, scrap pieces of cut off polyethylene foam can be buttered with the epoxy putty and placed across the joint. Kind of like a big high elongation band-aid or an effective belt and suspenders. Polymer Concrete Incorporated has always endeavored to find practical and user-friendly solutions to real-world problems. We welcome the opportunity to offer classroom and field training and unique problem solving. We welcome your comments or questions. Please feel free to call, text, or email us anytime. Thank you for your time and interest.